what you guys got another mobile phone review here for you this is the blue blue s1 4g mobile phone this one is a pretty affordable 114 pounds it's an entry level or budget level type mobile phone but it is packed with good features it has the helo p25 octa core uh, CPU with the 4 gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of ROM, Android 7.0, a sharp 5.5 inch full HD screen on there with Gorilla Glass Class 4 with cornering on there as well. Looks pretty nice. Also, the 3500 milliamp power battery in there, which lasts all day if you want to use it. Also, you're getting two cameras on there, which is the 13 megapixel or software 16 megapixel camera plus three megapixels you can see there this is that makes it up to 16 megapixel front camera five megapixel up to eight megapixel with software enhancements now also you're getting proximity sensors ambient light sensor also geometric uh, sensor on there and gyroscope on there as well really a uh, good dual sim um, on there as well for this one very well packaged as you can see here let's get it out of the box and take a closer look at it in more detail here so this is everything you're going to get inside the box here you can see we do have the phone and we also have a screen cover now it does already have gorilla glass uh, and this is just another cover i don't like to use this because it is quite thick and you can see it quite clearly on the phone but you can use it if you wish you do have a little letter from the manufacturer to say thank you for buying their phone also user manual which is very nicely written out in english uh, and it has all the specs and how to set up your phone and stuff like that how to charge it and all that sort of good stuff all inside here so it's got useful information in there you've got your warranty card here as well and uh, this will help you if you have any problems also you've got a bottom cover now the bottom is made of plastic it does scratch pretty easy so you may want to use this uh, as well to keep the phone from scratching you can use your own one if you wish you also have a charging cable here which is the type c connector on there also usb as you can see to charge your uh, phone also the charging adapter here which you can plug into an adapter and also an extension for audio jack and a sim card tray tool now this is in case you want to use the audio jack it doesn't come with an audio uh, port on there so you will need to use that cable if you want to use the audio jack you just plug that in it's a converter basically now you can see it does have cornering gr uh, gorilla glass 4 on there as well which is pretty strong and sturdy it is made of plastic and uh, the bottom is really really shiny as you can see here and uh, it is a bit of a fingerprint magnet uh, but it does look very nice it's a piano black finish as you can see now it looks very much like a samsung uh, galaxy s8 uh, but it's nowhere in the same class as that as you can see we have the uh, charging port there and one speaker the other one is a microphone and I'll show you that test a little bit later on it's not a bad phone to be honest I've seen a lot of people um, you know give it a bad review but I quite like it also you get the Helo P25 uh, CPU uh, 2.5 gigahertz octa core Mali T880 also 4 gigabytes of RAM 64 gigabytes of ROM and also external uh, micro SD card can go up to 256 gigabytes which is ample for you as you can see it's really really smooth uh, nice to look at a really nice tidy looking phone as you can see we do have Android 7.0 on here and I'll show you down the bottom it has the very latest security patches now they are updating the software on this pretty regularly so you may have a a few glitches uh, with some of these like you do with all phones but they update these quite a lot and you can see we have the latest android security patch level up to july 5th uh july 5th 2017. now also you have this nifty little gadget which you can click on here which gives you access to all these little areas here like network and also wi-fi and stuff like that you have your uh, sensor here at the top and your speaker for your ear here piece also 5.5 inch 1920 by 1080 uh, full HD screen on there now on the side you do have two rocker buttons one's a power button and also the other one's the audio button it's not the loudest phone out there it does also come with a fingerprint scanner on this uh, phone as well now the audio as I said is not very bassy it's very clear but you don't get very high volume with it now also you can see here we have the type C charging port with one speaker and probably a microphone now on the rear it says there's two cameras 
uh, it says it's a 13 megapixel camera and it has SW which is software I think which then makes it to 16 megapixel plus 3 megapixel on the forward facing camera you do have 5 megapixel with SW which is software I think then makes it up to 8 megapixel now the video recording and photos are pretty good as long as you've got plenty of light. Now if you're in low light then the uh, photos start to degrade. Now also this is pretty normal at this price point. You do have some premium features like face beauty, blur, mono, panorama and pro which is nice to have. Now these are all pretty decent features for an entry level sort of phone really because you're only paying £114. So you're getting quite a few good features. Now obviously uh, it's not going to be the best camera in the world uh, but the camera on it is uh, pretty decent uh, in good lighting so as long as you've got good lighting you're going to get some good photos as you'll see here. You've got some filters here that you can put onto your images or video if you want to and there's a quite a few of them here. You've got uh, CPO and also monochrome and stuff like that and they look quite nice so I don't think the uh, camera is that bad for this price point to be honest with you. So a lot of people are probably expecting far too much uh, from the cameras uh, at this sort of price level. So as you can see, the picture looks pretty good. I'll zoom in here and you can see all the detail here. Uh, it does get a bit frosty when you get too close, uh, but you can still see the spines on this cactus at close up, as you can see, pretty good. So let's move on to the sound test and see what it sounds like. Now, as you can see here, the picture quality is really crisp and very vibrant. All the colours look really lush and nice. And uh, I do like the screen quality here. Uh, the sound wasn't the loudest when playing YouTube videos, um, but games and stuff were okay. It seemed a bit different for certain things that you're doing, but you can see the quality of that picture there. Very, very nice indeed. And remember, this is only £114 phone, which I think is pretty exceptional uh, for that sort of price point, really. Now also, people may be worried about vulnerabilities with Chinese phones. As you can see, Stage Fright Detector found no vulnerabilities on this phone uh, whatsoever. So I did run that test for you because I noticed some people were concerned about things like that. I also did an ESET a scan with their virus scanner and it found no threats at all on the mobile phone. And of course, there's always, th always those people that like to say that there is malware on here. Also the multi-touch tester comes up with a nine so i managed to get a nine fingers on there and it did actually detect i couldn't get any more fingers on there but that's pretty decent uh really uh, you're getting good uh multi-touch there also the wi-fi uh is very very good and very powerful you can see we're getting really good uh, reception here and this is just showing the internal memory what you have on the the system and what's free and also the RAM that is on the system there as well and it's telling you how much is free there. Now I also run some benchmarks on here as well and that was the score that I got 61,567 which ain't too bad they're pretty standard uh, with this CPU so you do get a lot of the same sort of scores at this level. Now also you can see the AIDA64 system specs here, the manufacturer is Blue Blue S1 and you can see it does have the MT6757 uh, CPU with 4GB of RAM and the available storage is on there as well. And again we can see the cores for the CPU is 8 cores and uh, it is the MediaTek Helo P20. So it's pretty decent and they're using that chip a lot in mobile phones today. And as you can see, we have the screen resolution of 1920 by 1080. And also you can see the refresh rate is 57 Hertz, Mali T880. Uh, now again, we've got the battery temps at 34 Celsius and also all the sensors are working on here. You get quite a few proximity sensor, gyroscope and stuff like that. So you're getting all those included on this phone. The scrolling works really, really well as you can see, nice and smooth and zippy as you'd expect from this sort of CPU. Also the pinch and zoom works really, really well. And also it does play games as well. This is Asheville Extreme. Now I think there was some concerns with some people on some of the reviews I've seen on it uh, with the camera. 
personally I don't think it's that bad uh, for a video and also photos it's not as good in low light but that's what you expect at this sort of price point really a lot of uh, phones do struggle in dark light uh, but other than that I don't think it's too bad uh, for what you're paying for this phone now I will put all the information up on the screen there's some discount code there and also some other bits and pieces that you can use but 114 pounds and 66 pence or 139 dollars uh, and 99 cents i think is pretty decent and i'll leave the all the links in the video description for you i want to thank gear best for sending this one over for review my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support uh, videos will uh, resume as normal now and back from my holidays and hopefully uh, we can get back to making more videos on a regular basis anyway thanks again for watching have a nice day and i shall see you again very soon bye for now